top. Oh. The set the face bar is here. Mm. You can squeeze it and just kind of squeezing the wood. When you've done this to thousands of instruments, sometimes you can feel, oh, it's too stiff, or it's too flexible. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit stiff, but it's brand new. It's mm -hmm. never been played much. So you do this for four or five minutes, and come and do it. You do this, and this is, this is approximating A0 where the, the instrument is doing this. Mm. So you, you have to press, uh, put a lot of pressure? Not a lot. You no. don't want to use too much. Okay. <laughs> no, it will pop. Okay. So I don't recommend other people do this yeah. on a good instrument, never. Mm. But remember we talked about this, what I've done here is CBR. CBR. Yeah. And these are A0, A0. and A1. Okay? okay. Now the body modes, Remember the body modes? The body was doing this, right? Yeah. So you kind of grab it here and you press in and out. And you can see it here, it's moving a little bit. And you just do this for four or five minutes. And do this for four or five minutes. This violin feels stiff. It's brand new. So you push with uh, the thumbs this yeah. way and yeah. with the other one this way? Well, because I'm going to practice I, I, I'm, with I'm, I'm the, trying to do this. The, the bad one at home. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do this. Okay. okay. I'm trying to, to do this. But I'm not putting a lot of pressure here. I'm just okay. grabbing the corners. Mm. And you can feel the difference when you play. Not just you can feel it in the bow because the, uh, the bridge is the CBR is more flexible. When the, the bridge is more flexible and the, uh, the bow is pulling across it, you can feel it here. Mm -hmm. And you can hear the difference too. And normally you hear it more in the lower strings than the higher strings. But if the low strings sound good because of overtones, then the higher strings you'll get more complex and more singing sound. But overtones not only go up, but they also go down. Mm. And the shape of the instrument actually does not support that note. It's too small. The instrument needs to be larger to support that basic note. But our brain is so smart that it hears overtones, not only higher ones, but lower ones. And the better the musician, you play the piano, you play the piano, You've trained your brain to hear those overtones and it fills in the primary note. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Because yeah. that note actually is not oh, in the violin. Mm -hmm. oh, it's are. too small. Mm -hmm. For the length of the string, it's too small. But you hear that note because your brain is hearing the overtones and filling in the primary note. Mm -hmm. So the more practice you do, you play in tune. The more you play in tune, you're actually training the area of the brain that recognizes music and sound. And the more you play in tune, intonation, mm -hmm. then the easier it is to play in intonation mm -hmm. and play the correct note. train yourself to, to hear that. And you can put a pencil. You can get a, a tuning uh, application and tune the open string perfectly. And then and where it's at, the perfect one, put a little pencil mark all the way across. Mm. Another pencil mark. Yeah, they, they sell these uh, 